Hello, welcome back to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer, songwriter, vocal coach, and session musician, back to watch some more Aurora. If you did not know, I'm a big Aurora fan and I've been listening to her record, What Happened to the Heart, so many times. It's my, at the moment, top played album in my Apple Music thing. So <laughs> I've really been enjoying it. And we've already watched one of the live performances from Aurora's Vivo sessions, which was A Soul With No King. And I thought it was fantastic. The way she reinterpreted the song was amazing. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave a link below for you to check it out and up here as well. But there is another Vivo performance for us to check out of some type of skin. And we're here to do just that because I cannot stay away. So let's see what's going on with this particular performance. I can already see it's a different sort of lighting setting. So uh, with A Soul Was No King, it was all greens. And here it looks like it's gonna be kind of pink. And I appreciate the aesthetic of these things, you know, because I think Aurora thinks of all of this stuff. It's not just the music, it's the whole thing. We had some really interesting camera work on that first performance. So maybe more of the same here, who knows? Only one way to find out, and that is to or watch. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Oh, okay. Um, so already just a completely different start. Also, you kindly all told me that it's the mandola. I, for some reason, I was like, oh, look, it's a modern day lute on the last performance, but this is a mandola. So <laughs> we're we are just pointing that out for me, basically. Uh, okay. Hit me hard where I am soft. Love that little turn in Should my vocal. heart reveal itself to be Nice push, wait, that again, I love that push. And these interval jumps. Should my heart reveal itself to be more than a muscle or a fist covered in blood? Notice how we're moving away, so she's already camera work wise moving us into a different space and one thing that I found really interesting just watching this is the handheld mic. It's not up on a mic stand because she's going to play the keys. No, she's just standing there with it. Uh, I don't know how they're going to organise. I guess maybe someone off camera will bring one in for when she does come back, if she comes back, to the keys to play. I don't know. I'm overthinking. Let's keep going. However much it feels to bleed, it's only temporary. vocal that's worth listening to again with a really aspirate tone, which I appreciate. Uh, something else that's so interesting about this is how within that chorus, on the record, you know, the original version, she goes for it. It's this just explosion of a vocal into the chorus. And here it's that mezzo forte kind of, yeah, I'm pushing it, but not quite the way that you maybe would have expected, but it really suits the setting here. I love how they've organized where to place the backing vocals in and that harmony and just to get the whole vibe of the song going in this acoustic setting. I guess I should build some type of skin <laughs> and let breath be air and love the things I know might disappear. <laughs> the last light of the sun. Oh, 
she nearly didn't make it, huh? Um, <laughs> I don't know if that was that she nearly didn't make it or it was just that kind of fun aspect of her personality come, coming through there. But it was almost like, oh, <laughs> I need to play that piano bit. But I'm so into my vocal that I nearly didn't sing. Uh, but I really, really love, again, uh, I didn't mention that in the chorus, just having that one kind of hit, you know, just... Turn this back to piano. Uh, just hitting the one octave apart note thing and then here you know just a couple of little, little things that add to the performance but her focus here is definitely on her interpretation of the song and you can see just physically how she's working her way through those lyrics me down i'll crawl where everybody runs. Really, where are we going <laughs> i love it we're good people oh holding and we It's difficult, it seems. On the mandola. So now we're getting a little bit more into the forte. Um, but we had that D drone, which I thought was really cool in that pre chorus section, just adding some tension. Um, okay. Just that cry from her. Oh, I love that mic technique. Floating away from the mic there. Uh, gosh. <laughs> so playful. A5 again. Oh, so beautifully arranged and so different, but everything that I could have wanted from that performance because it reimagined the song for me. And when you get into an album, I don't know if you find this, but sometimes you will play it so many times that you get to the point where you're like, oh, Am I going to skip this song or am I going to listen through? Maybe it's just me that does this, but a little bit of honesty. I will, you know, listen to an album so many times religiously and then I'll start to kind of pick out different favourites and I'll skip some songs and then the other songs will become my favourites again. So I'll skip the ones that I was un not skipping. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's really lovely to hear this song in a completely different way. So fresh ears for me. And now I want to go and listen to the, <laughs> the record version again. And oh, I don't know, I go on a whole thing with my brain and listening to albums. But I think that, you know, the best ones you do go on that kind of journey where you listen to certain songs and you take your time with them and then you move away from them. Then you move back to them. I think that maybe that's a good thing. Uh, let me know how you listen to records. Do you just solidly listen to them from the beginning to the end and that's how you listen to, to them the end? Or do you pick one or two favourites that you listen to constantly? Let me know. Um, and if you want to watch my full reaction to what happened to the heart, I have hosted it over on Patreon. It's a full one hour, 40 minute marathon and uh, my longest ever reaction video. So I'll leave a link for that below alongside the YouTube edits that I posted here on YouTube. And I also did a, an exclusive reaction to Starvation at Glastonbury, so I will leave a link for that below as well. So do go ahead and check out those links and I will look forward to seeing you on another video. If you haven't already and you'd like to hit the subscribe button, I will see you hopefully next time. Have a great rest of your day. Love you. Bye.